ZenCam. In this video, we will cover common Wi-Fi connectivity issues with ZenCam cameras and their network connection. Wi-Fi connectivity issues. Most common Wi-Fi connectivity issues are related to network connectivity. The integrity of your network plays a major role in the efficiency of how your device connects and functions on your network. The overall reliability of your network can be measured by three major factors. Network speed, location, and other external factors. This video is aimed at assisting you with resolving your device's connection issue and to provide information on how to troubleshoot and optimize your device's performance on your network. For additional assistance on setting up your ZenCam camera, please see the link in the description below for our mobile app setup video and more details. Network speed. The most common factor when determining connection issues can be directly related to speed. If the speeds on your network are insufficient, you will not be able to connect to your devices properly. For instance, IP cameras are heavily impacted by upload speeds. A typical IP camera with a resolution of 720 to 1080p requires a minimum of 1.5 to 2 megabits per second of upload speed per camera to function properly. Higher resolutions will take up more bandwidth beyond 2 megabits per second. To diagnose the integrity of your network, it is highly advisable to run a speed test to verify this information. A quick speed test on your network can be done by simply going to speedtest.net. While performing the speed test, please check that your upload and download speeds are sufficient to handle the demand required by your internet devices on your network. If you find an issue with your network speeds, contact your internet service provider for more assistance. Additionally, it is also important to note that if you have other multiple devices on your network, such as laptops, gaming consoles, or other streaming devices that require large amounts of bandwidth, it could create congestion on your network. These devices will compete for connectivity and may take precedence over some devices that are trying to connect to your network, namely IP cameras. Turning off other wireless devices may help free up enough bandwidth for your camera to connect to your network successfully. Location. The location of your device is an important factor to consider as well. For instance, distance can have a dramatic impact on network performance. If the device is too far from the router, there may not be enough signal strength to reach the device. This can vary based on the type or brand of router you are using on your network. In this case, having an external Wi-Fi extender may be an advisable option to help boost the signal strength from the router to your device. Alternatively, if an extender is not a viable option, then it may be best to consider moving the camera to a location that is in close proximity to the router. Preferably, these are areas that are closer to the router or are not obstructed by other external factors. External factors. In relation to network connectivity, there can also be several underlined external factors that can play a role in signal degradation. For instance, common features in the home such as walls, microwaves, cordless phones, baby monitors, or other such influences can cause signal interference with the connection. To reduce the possibility of interference from these devices, it is imperative to set up the device in an area close to the router and away from obstructions. Troubleshooting. If the issue still persists, there are some common troubleshooting techniques you can take to help resolve the issue. Power cycle. To power cycle the device, please remove the device from its power source and allow the device to shut down. This should take approximately 15 to 20 seconds to complete. Afterwards, plug the camera back in with its power supply and allow the device to boot back up. When the device is ready, try connecting to the device again. Factory Reset If a power cycle of the device was not successful, a factory reset may need to be performed. Depending on your camera model, the location of the reset button will vary. On M-Series models, the reset button is on the base of the camera near the power connection. On E-Series models, it is located directly on the back of the camera and appears as a curve-shaped cutout to the left of the QR code. To complete a factory reset on your camera, simply press and hold the reset button for 45 seconds. 
This will reset your camera back to factory default settings. M-Series models will rotate, while E-Series models will indicate a reset via the green LED light. When the device has finished resetting, you can connect to the device again. Contact support. If further assistance is needed to help resolve your Wi-Fi connectivity issue, please feel free to contact our support department directly, and we will be happy to assist. You can email us at support at zencam.com or by giving us a call at 1-888-212-7538. We hope this video has helped you learn about the most common causes of network connectivity issues with ZenCam cameras and provided a few solutions to resolve the issue. To learn more about ZenCam devices, please see our other video tutorials and subscribe to our channel to view our latest products and videos. Thank you for choosing ZenCam. Relax. Put peace in the palm of your hand.